Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Uh, the purpose of this video is to introduce a very important concept in physics uh, called work. So we're going to be talking about what is work today. All right, well, imagine we got this automobile, maybe it's ran out of gas or something, and the driver's out here and he's pushing it along. And if we think about a free body diagram of that car, all right, we got a gravitational force, which is down. That goes at the, uh, it's called the center of mass. And usually when we calculate it, that's uh, an mg. We, there's technically four different normals. Uh, depend, you know, how many normals you need to draw it depends on the complexity of the problem. This is going to be a very simple example. I'm just going to kind of group those together, call those one normal up. So again, this is coming from the four different normals each, at each tire. All right, and then this person is applying a force to this car. All right, and that's an example. Or in this example, that force would be to the right. Now that force can go anywhere along what's called the line of action. I'm going to go ahead and draw it right here. So here's a vector for the force that the person is applying on the car. Now imagine that the car starts moving, and the car moves a certain distance here. I'll just say d. Now if this force is applied the entire time as this car rolls along, then this force is, uh, then this person is doing what we call work in physics. And work, when it's calculated, work is force times distance. So, you know, equation wise, all right, work is, I'll put F times D here. Uh, but there's an important qualifier. Whenever you calculate work, the force that you use has to be parallel to the distance. Any forces that are not parallel to the distance do not do work. So in this example, this force that this person is applying is doing the work if the car is moving to the right. The gravitational force in this example is not doing any work because it makes a right angle to the direction that the car is moving. Same thing with the normal force. In this example, the normal doesn't do any work because it makes a right angle to the direction that the car is moving. So work is force times distance. Right? So it, it would have units of newton time meters. And one newton per meter, I'm sorry, one newton meter, not newton per meter, it has its own name. It's called one joule. So work is measured by this quantity called a joule. Basically, it means if you apply one newton force over a distance of one meter, you've done uh, one joule of work. Right. Only forces in the direction of motion do work. That's very important. So in this example, this is the only force doing work. These two don't do any work. Right. Uh, work can be positive or negative depending on the relative force direction. And here's how you tell. When the force vector is the same direction as your velocity vector, then the work is positive. I'll just put greater than zero. When the force vector is opposite direction as the velocity vector, then the work is negative or less than zero. When the force vector is perpendicular to the velocity vector, as it is uh, in these two cases, this normal and this gravitational force, then the work done is zero. All right, so this is how work is calculated. I'm going to save why we calculate it for another uh, video. Um, this is just meant to be kind of a basic introduction to work. It, again, it's force times distance, but the force has to be parallel to the distance. The work is positive when the force is in the same direction as the velocity, negative when the force is in the opposite direction of the velocity, and zero when the force is perpendicular to the velocity. And again, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. It's just meant to be a brief introduction, and I'll make more videos about work uh, for everyone to purview. <laughs> Peruse, I guess is the word I want. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helps introduce you to the concept of work. Have a great day.